and there's no shrink. Man, you can't let me go in there alone. What are you even doing? Oh my God, it's Graham's birthday celebration. Yeah, the whole clan's already gathered, and look who's late. Again. I guess that makes two of us. It completely slipped my mind. Well, we both know that they're not going to yell at you, so uh, <laughs> maybe I can just slide in on your coattails. Yeah, let's uh, let's go face the music. What are brothers for, right? <sighs> Long time no see. I, I've been missing you. Yeah, I bet. No wire. No backup. Alone in Wallace's suite. You better talk fast. Well, it's about time. What's that? Well, Chris has decided to grace us with his presence. Now, it took us a month to find a night when we could all have dinner together, and I would like to see smiles all around. <laughs> Hello, you three. Oh, Happy we birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, Happy birthday. Oh, thank you, darling. Oh, Hi. thank you, thank you, Dom. That's your little Hi. present, Graham. Oh, let me guess what it is. It's that CD you were telling That's me about. That's right. I told you my boy could play classical. Oh. <laughs> thank you, You're sweetheart. Well. Mm. Oh, you know how much I appreciate that. Great to see Great. Hi, bro. Good to see you. So, what are we gonna do for excitement this year? Boat sinking's been done. Oh, Christopher, oh, huh? please don't even remind us of it. <laughs> no, no, don't worry. There's a universal reason for celebration tonight. Oh. Stenbeck behind bars. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Uh, I'm sorry, Andy. I, I know this is not easy for you. Absolutely not. I'm with you. I want that guy behind bars, right where he belongs. And Molly? Molly and I are over. I'm moving on, and hopefully she can too. Looks like we'll know soon enough. You're a professional. For God's sake, what the hell were you thinking? You know what, we both agreed that Wallace was my assignment, and that it had to be taken care of in a very private manner. Where you had backup, Margo, where you were wearing a wire so we could actually get something Keep we can use. Down. We agreed. No unnecessary risk. I didn't have time to alert you. Well, then you shouldn't have gone. Well, how was I supposed to do that without arousing He had you alone up there. Anything could have happened. Well, I, I wasn't going to lure me to his love nest and kill me. How do you know? I just know, all right? Now, do you want to know what went down, or do you not? Better be good. <sighs> Alec Wallace is a very guarded man. He doesn't let many people in, but he started to... He started to tell me about his past, about his first love, about how he hurt her. Physically? No, no, it was... It was... It was emotional. It was... It ran very deep for him. It still does. I think it's connected to the murders? I really don't know. But it's a place for me to start, assuming I'm still on the case. How are you going to keep this thing alive without, uh, how should we say, going above and beyond the call of duty? How? You know what? He is... He, we are so close to getting what we want. He's involved. He trusts me. He's ready to open up. Before or after he makes his next move. Hello. Margo, it's Alec. You and Tom get everything squared away at Casey's school? Alec, he, uh, yeah, it took a while and we got it done. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry it took off so fast. So do you want to make it up to me? Well, you know I do. Then come back here now. No, but I've got a few things I need to take care of. Margo, I need to talk to you. It's important. Yes, Alec. I'll be there as soon as I can. Good. Well, obviously I didn't discourage him, so... Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, Al. This is what we're waiting for. Oh, I agree. And I'm coming. Ah, 
Atta girl, I got you. Okay, here goes nothing. Well, you got here fast. Well, you said that you needed me here, so... But I, you know, if you don't, I can wait down in the lobby. No, no, of course not. Come on in. So, some business crisis? Yeah, you could call it that. Can I help? Maybe. But I uh, need to ask you a question first. And it's a little personal. What was the real reason you left here earlier? I told you. I don't think so. What, you think I lied? I think maybe there was a problem with Casey's records, but then again, maybe there wasn't. There was, Alec. Okay, I'll take your word on it. But in business, I have to deal with the bottom line, Margot, so here it is. You don't want to be here with me? Because you intended to be with Tom. Go oh, on, Tom, admit it. I know what I saw. Glowing embers. Glowing embers? Yes, yes, sparks, ready to ignite. Margot will never be over you. I don't care what Emily does and what she doesn't do. Well, never could fool you, Mom. Now let's just hope Margot faces the fouls. Honey, you have to give Margot time. You know, currently, what you're doing is skirting the issue at hand. Oh, you mean Emily's job. Promise me, Mom, that you won't veto this. She doesn't have to. Alex said no. Alec, please, would you would you drop the whole Tom thing? So Tom wasn't the real reason you left here earlier? No, it wasn't Tom. It wasn't Casey either. Do I get the truth? I got scared. You got scared. Detective Margot Hughes, Terry Oakdale's criminal class, got scared. I don't think so, Margot. Yeah, Alec. I'm kind of thrown by all of this. By what? Being intimate? Is that it? When it really got down to it, yes. And I panicked. I know. You sure said you weren't ready. That would be great. It'd make me sound just like a 16-year-old, wouldn't it? I don't... I don't want to hurt you. Well, obviously it was too soon. I shouldn't have pressured you. You didn't pressure me. I, I was putting pressure on me to, to, to go the next step. Well, then I guess there's only one solution. What's that? To take the pressure off. It's not about... You don't have to do anything. It's, it's, it's me. I just have to have a little more time. Well, you'll have all the time you need. You're fired. You can't fire me. How can you do that? You said you wanted a solution. You said that I was damn good at my job. You said that. You're right, I did. It'd be damn hard to replace. I refuse to be fired. Not your call, Margo. You said yourself the work was too much, the pressure was too much for you. Because I wasn't talking about the work. That wasn't what I meant. Look, work, you, me, our relationship, it's just too much. You said you were worried about it yourself. I got greedy. I got overwhelmed. I barreled through you with my enthusiasm. And if I got to choose which you is more important to me, professionally or personally, it's not even a question. You know what? It's, 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 it's just that I have, to time, I have to have time to get used to it. That's all. That's all I need. Shouldn't have to. Look, I see that there's a future for us, for both of us, and I hope you do too, but it's got nothing to do with PR. So you just decided this? I'll help you find another job. Trish. I had another job. I gave it up for you. So now we'll get to even spend more time together. Margo, come on. When's the last time you had a break? When you, would you take some time off? I like to work. I need to work. It's done. Once I make a decision, that's it. It's made. And it's a good one. Look, come on. Just go home. Take a bath. Think of all the great places you haven't showed me around in Oakdale. Like the, the falls up by the river, that great little tavern on the outside of town. Alec, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about I want to see the other side to you. Come on. I want to see the adult woman who, for the first time in her life, does nothing but absolutely enjoy life. All right? All right. Good.
Look, I know you're shocked, but I mean this. You are a first-rate journalist, and you're gonna do well at other things. I don't want to do other things. Journalism's my life. I mean, outside of you and Daniel, of course. And don't tell me beggars can't be choosers. I know you're a proud woman, and I know this is a blow. But Wallace is a partner. If he says it's not right... He did. But then again, I've thought over certain aspects of our conversation. And I've decided I'd like to pursue it further. Well, that's that. You heard it, huh? Yeah, I should thank Wallace for doing my job for me. Meaning? Saving me the trouble of pulling your plug. Not necessarily. You don't work for him, you can't spy on him. Not necessarily. Okay, enlighten me. I may be further away from Alec's files, but I am closer to Alec. This is not making me happy. But this is what we have been waiting for. He's involved, and he trusts me. You're willing to sleep with him to get information. You know what? I'm going to cross that bridge when I get to it, but I need to see this all the way to the end, Hal. Hold it, hold it. I'll make that decision. Who's the boss here? Would you please don't, don't make me beg for this? This runs a lot deeper than just nailing Wallace, doesn't it? Was bigger than nailing wall. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, it is deeper. I haven't had exactly a banner year here. I lost my husband. I lost a baby. I lost my job. That's got to be some kind of record right there. Job's still here. Well, that's good to know. Thank you very much. But I need this win. I need this big win. Please just give it to me. I'm so close. If I if I can succeed with it, let me get him. Okay, Margo, I'll green light you, but no unnecessary chances. Thank you, Hal. I'm serious, Margo. You say Alec trusts you, but what if he doesn't? Hal, I'm gonna be careful. You recall what I told you about my business decisions? Strictly based on business. I know I heard you loud and clear. It's not gonna work out. I'm Let me finish, to please. I don't often make mistakes, but when I do, I like to correct them as quickly as possible. I don't understand. I got a feeling that turning you down might have been a big mistake. You serious? Unfortunately, I usually am. Uh, may I ask what changed your mind? Your pitch. You're obviously someone who's very willing and able to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Take charge if necessary. Tom, you agree with that assessment? I don't know. I didn't hear the pitch. Oh, it was very impressive. It convinced me Miss Stewart is exactly who I needed. So the job is yours if you want it. Oh, I, uh, I definitely want it. Good. Because I think it'll be very profitable for both of us.